All right, hello everyone. Um, I am. Oh, this is going to be my um, one week postpartum video, even though I am a little over one week. I will be two weeks on Tuesday. Um, so. Why are you making sounds like that? Why? So, basically, just an update on myself before I talk about this beautiful little dumpling. Uh, so when I went into labor, I weighed probably close to like 180 pounds. Um, and I started off at like 130. So it's a pretty significant weight gain during the whole pregnancy. Um, and he's making the cutest sound right now. Are you smiling? Are you smiling? Um, so I weighed 180 pounds, and the last time I weighed myself was two days ago, and I weighed about 156. So I still have a... Why are you smiling? I still have um, a significant amount to lose to get back to my pre-pregnancy weight. And honestly, I don't care about the numbers at all. I just want to feel good. And um, I feel good with what I am right now. Um, I still have a little bit of a swollen stomach. That noise is my dog kicking his water bowl. He's, um... He's not, I just gave him water. He's just being rude. Um, Milo, not right now. Anyways, so yeah, I'm, um, I've lost a lot of weight. I still have some weight to lose. Um, obviously, I can't be doing too many workouts or anything right now, nor do I want to. I'm too tired. But um, I've been trying to eat healthier. Um, I've definitely been eating less, not intentionally, but I've just been so busy with the baby that it's been hard to find time to go and make myself some food. So I've been having some smoothies. Um, cause this little guy's great. He'll sleep through anything. He'll sleep through me vacuuming, through a blender, um, when he is asleep. So, um, another thing, um, would be the bleeding because I didn't, um, have a vaginal birth. Um, and I did tear first of all. So, um, my midwife had said that on a scale of, um, one to four, zero to four, zero being no tearing, four being, I really don't know what four was, but I was just a one. And um, so I do have stitches, which are extremely, extremely uncomfortable. So for all you mamas out there who know what I'm talking about, it's just, it's just not a good situation because it's just un really uncomfortable. So, um... That's that. So I'm still a week, over a week postpartum. I'm still bleeding. Um, I'm still occasionally, this is TMI, but you know, you're watching a postpartum update. So um, I also am still have some cl some clotting and um, not anything significant, but um, I thought that the bleeding had stopped yesterday and I was incorrect. So that will be really great when that stops so I can start wearing normal underwear and clothes and not have to worry about a pad or anything um and that will also make me feel better when I can wear real clothes like for right now I'm in Nyx boxers and a sleep shirt because I can't really wear any of my pants well first of all nothing fits me yet um but also I just it feels really it doesn't feel good to be having that situation down there and then wearing like nice clothes or something I just I don't know so I'll be happy when that all stops um, another thing is that I am, um, uh, exclusively breastfeeding, but I am pumping and using a bottle. Um, and I guess this kind of goes over to this little guy's postpartum update, um, or one week update. My little, he's getting so big, so fast. Um, so he, first of all, was born and weighed 8 pounds, 12 ounces. He's a big guy. And yes, he were. Yes. So he weighed 8 pounds, 12 ounces, and was 20 inches long. Um, when we left the hospital, he was 8 pounds, 4 ounces. And um, I had been breastfeeding, and um, babies do something called cluster feeding, which I had no idea about. And cluster feeding is basically um, the baby will feed almost nonstop, or will have short breaks in between feedings while you... Uh, before your milk comes in. 
um, because they're trying to make it so your milk comes in so it's not just the colostrum. And um, this little guy in the hospital fed for six hours straight and um, during his cluster feed in the middle of the night. And I hadn't slept in days and I know, but it's okay now. It's okay now. I hadn't slept um, for the two days I was in labor. The first night I didn't sleep because I was so concerned with him. I just wanted to watch him sleep. And then, yes, I did. And then the fourth night I didn't sleep because he cluster fed for six hours straight. And the only time I got a break was when, um, not even by choice of him wanting to take a break, it was because I would have to stop and go to the bathroom. And it was just really, really hard. And it, my um, chest was just, just, it was raw. Like he was really feeding me or feeding himself and making me raw. It was just the most painful thing every single time he latched on, whether it was a good latch or not, it was it felt like um, someone was stabbing me. And I would have to, like, just, uh, like, my face would get tight because I'm trying to get myself through the pain of it. And I, I didn't want to give up on breastfeeding, you know, like, formula. Is, I'm not that I have anything against it. It's just so expensive, and it's just not something that is right for our family. Um... And, um, it was just awful. So one of the things that I did that helped with that is I would put, um, I would wet, um, disposable nursing pads and I'd get them wet and then put them in the freezer. So then in between feedings, um, I would take them out of the freezer and put them in my bra. And that did help. I also was using the Honest Company nipple balm and I don't, I really don't know if it worked or not. I just, it, it was nice to have it to maybe like think that it was working I just I really can't say if it is worth it or not I just don't know um but um one of one of the things is the he cluster fed of course like I said six hours and it, my milk came in on day three or four I think four and it has come in so strong and it's um he was really spitty from the beginning even just with the colostrum um and it was like really scary for me as like a first time mom because he would be sleeping and all of a sudden I'd hear him choking and we'd um, you know have to put him on his side and um, get him to spit up and use one of these to get the throw up out of his mouth and it was just so scary and one of the times the nurse was in the room and she was like um, patting him on the back and she's like just breathe just like get a cry just cry and it was so scary so that was one of the things that like was freaking me out um, and. Um, so when he would feed, he would spit up a lot of what he was drinking, and that concerned me, so I ended up talking to Nick about formula, and I was like, I don't know if I can breastfeed anymore, I am in so much pain, it's just the worst thing that's ever happened to me, it's worse than my 46 hour labor that I had, um, it's just the worst pain I've ever felt, and we decided that if he didn't gain, if, um, Bowie didn't gain all his weight back, at his one week appointment that we would start using formula and breastfeeding um, so that I could sleep at night and he would be eating food and just for like overall sanity but we had our one week appointment on Tuesday and he gained all of his weight back and more he's now um, 813 so he was born at 8, um, eight pounds 12 ounces left the hospital at 8 pounds 4 ounces and we had our one week appointment and he was 8 pounds 13 ounces so he's eating a lot, and he's doing really well. He's a big guy. Cute big guy. And, um, yeah, so any, my advice just to those people that are breastfeeding and going through the cluster feeding or waiting for their milk to come in or just wanting to quit, seek help and from your partner or whoever. You just need a support system because it really is not easy. It's it's the hardest thing I've ever done. Um, and I'm really glad I stuck it stuck it out because I'm only a week and a half postpartum, and it's it's easy now it's it's so much it's not painful it's just it's way better um I think it's been helping me with my body too getting back to um where I was before which is nice and um yeah so just if your baby's cluster feeding I would just suggest you know having everything set up for you getting help from someone um you don't know how long you're going to be sitting there feeding so have water there have some food there like have your partner whoever um just have someone with you to so you're not alone because it could be really stressful and it's it's really overwhelming, especially for a first time mom. So that would be my advice for that. And other than that, um, he's been really good. So he is really spitty still, which is kind of 
uh, forcing us to use a bottle. So I'm pumping and using a bottle so that he's getting um, the milk flow slower because my milk's coming out so fast that he can only feed for two around two minutes and then he starts throwing up or spitting up and it, it has been like projectile which is really scary for me but we've been using a bottle and it's not bad I'm the only one who feeds him um, for the most part because I still want that bond so we still do our skin to skin and I'll feed him with the bottle and we'll, we'll talk and um, everything because uh, I just want him and myself to have this bond um, and yeah, he's just really great. His disposition's great. He's always calm. Um, he doesn't cry a lot. He sleeps through the night pretty well. He wakes up um, probably two or three times, but um, it's not. We're and when he does wake up, we're up for a, a, about an hour, hour and a half. So, but it's not anything too dramatic. He's really easy right now. He's just passed out. He's so cute. Um, I just love him. I'm just so happy. I couldn't even. Um, it's just so weird that this was in my stomach. It was, but two two weeks ago it's just like it's so beautiful that um, this has happened and it's my first baby so I've been really protective no one's um, held him yet besides Nick and I really um, I'm not having people come over and you know I'm just like really protective of him probably because it's my first baby maybe by the second one I'll be less um less of a guard up but you know I just, he's so little I don't want him to get sick um, and he's just adjusting to the world just fine. Um, the other thing is he has a birthmark on the side of his face. He can't really... Actually, you can kind of see it. It's right there. It's a skin colored. Um, the doctor said uh, we're going to keep an eye on it, but most likely it's going to have to get removed before his adult life because... Um, yes. Because it could have a high risk of skin cancer. So besides that, there's nothing that we're really concerned about. His umbilical cord is still attached. Um, we're waiting for that to fall off so we can give him a full bath, which I'm so excited about. And, um, yeah, other than that, we're doing really well. Adjusting is not easy, but it, it can be done. Um, it's important to have help. So if you are, um, you know, doing this without someone, you know, you, you just need to find any kind of friends or family to help support you because, you know, it's, it is really difficult, but it's totally worth it. And they're just, babies are just the sweetest. And they're just so innocent. It's just... It's, I don't know, I'm just really in love and so happy. So, here is, yeah, let me try to show him. Uh-oh. Oh, yes. Here is Bowie, Matthew, passed out in his little outfit. He usually doesn't like to wear clothes, but that's pretty much him. And I can try to do, I'm, I don't want to set him down. I'm not, like, going to try to edit this whole thing because, honestly, I don't have the time. And, um... A lot of other things that come with being a mom, like finding time to clean, which would be a good time right now since he's sleeping. But let me just try to get um, a stomach shot really fast without without waking him up. I'm ignoring the boxers I'm in, but so far this is what I saw my mama's mark. But what? It's just crazy. It makes me I I feel great, and I still am, I walk around and I'll rub my stomach like forgetting that. You know, he's out, which makes me a little sad. I do miss having him inside of my belly, but I'm just so happy that he's here. Bowie! All right, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. We'll have more videos up soon, and we'll be filming him when he's awake because he is just the funniest little guy. And, um, yeah, if you have any requests, leave them in the comments below. Any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. And thank you for watching.